Today on Hoss's Kitchen, I'm going to show you my version of an onion smash burger. I love smash burgers because you have this beef patty that gets smashed into a hot pan and you get all these little burnt, crispy, caramely bits on the beef. I think they're delicious and I'm going to show you my version of it. If you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a big pan that you can get pretty hot on the oven, a good metal spatula, and you're going to need a little canola oil to spray the bottom of the spatula. I'll show you why in a second. For the meat, I use 80-20 ground chuck. And these are four ounce uh, portions that I formed into a ball and I weighed them on my digital scale just to make sure they're right around four ounces. You're going to need salt, pepper, and garlic powder to season the meat. And then we have a special sauce. And the ingredients for the special sauce are mayonnaise, ketchup, vinegar, sugar, and sweet relish. And in the description below this video, I'll have the exact recipe, but those are the things you need. And you mix them up and it forms this delicious burger sauce. You're gonna need some diced onions, some bread and butter sliced pickles, and also, you're also gonna need a little bit of butter and the bun, I like potato buns or brioche buns. Those are my favorites. These are potato buns and we're gonna toast them. So let's get started. So step one, we're going to start heating the pan. I'm going to go on a medium high heat. And after about a minute, I'm going to throw a pat of butter in there and we're going to toast the buns. And the reason I'm doing it, while the pan's heating up, we're going to toast the buns. If you wait till it's super, super hot, the buns are going to burn on you. So we're going to let this heat up for a minute and then I'll show you how I toast the buns. So the pan's getting preheated. I'm going to add a pat of butter. Let that melt. And then I'm going to take the bun, rub it around in the butter in the pan, and just let it toast till it's nice and golden brown. Okay, so the buns have been toasting. That's about perfect for me on a toasted bun. I'm going to set these on the plate, and I'm going to spread both sides with a little bit of the secret sauce. I'm going to let the pan continue to heat up, and then I'm going to show you how to cook the burger. Here's a quick tip for you. First off, toasted buns are always better. Secondly, the reason why we put the sauce on both sides of the bun is there's mayonnaise in there, and mayonnaise is oil-based. And because of that, it'll keep some of the grease from the burger from saturating your bun and making it soggy. Now it's time for the meat. Make sure you have everything right by the stove. And here's the order things are going to happen. First, if you have a vent, turn your vent on because it might get a little smoky. Next, you want to spray the bottom of the spatula. Then we're going to go meat, smash, season, and then onions. So let's do it. All right, here's our ball of meat. Put that in the hot pan. Gonna grab our spatula, which is greased on the bottom now. Gonna smash that in there to about a half an inch thick. Just like that. Then, a little garlic powder, a little pepper, a little salt, and put the onions right on top of the meat. And we're going to do a second smash to get the onions into the meat. And we're going to let that go for two minutes. Okay, it's been two minutes. Now you need a metal spatula. And we're going to kind of press down into the pan. Because you want to make sure all the brown bits stay on the meat. Going to flip the burger. Okay. A little salt. Garlic powder, pepper, now put the cheese on, cover it with another pan just like this, and go for one minute. Okay, it's been a minute on the second side, the cheese is perfectly melted, okay, what we're going to do is get our burger out of there, get it on our bun. And now to serve it, all we're going to add is just a couple slices of the sweet bread and butter pickles right here. Put the top bun on. I'm going to let that sit for just a second, then I'm going to take a bite. So there you have it, the onion and smash burger on Hossie's Kitchen. Give it a try sometime. I think you're really going to like it. Now all that's left to do is pour myself a little bourbon and take a bite. So this is one of my favorites, Michter's US1 Small Batch Bourbon. Pour a little bit of that. And I'm going to take a bite of this burger, and we'll see you next time on Hoss's Kitchen.